guys, Subblick here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines where I want to have a look at all these roads today because we got uh, some funky stuff going on here uh, which I, I mean we even have traffic lights here I mean also this crossing is just a thing of beauty uh, and then likewise down over here we've just got no traffic lights and traffic going everywhere this has now become a really really busy road with the increase of everything down over here which I mean to be fair this road I'm quite happy with this road just being the two lanes but I think the you know either end of the road also needs to uh, make sense for it uh, what I ideally want to do is not have all the highway traffic use this road here. Uh, and I guess to do that, we need to provide another way to go. The other alternative is them going up and around, which obviously is just much, much longer. But uh, I think what I would like to do is continue it like that. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I think because I, I think we'll develop along here. So we'll probably just build up some offices or, you know, commercial or something around here and then turn this into intersections and they're just not going to want to use it. But we need an alternate route. And I'm wondering, ideally, I would have wanted it to come directly off this road. But it also feeds this area and it's kind of hard to fit another intersection in here. Uh, unless, no, nah, we can't have it come up there. And here it's just, there's too many things going on. So it's really hard to get another intersection. So I'm thinking, well, oh, th even this is bad. <laughs> I was like, hmm, we could just add it up here. But it's like, even this is just having a tough time. I mean, it's not too bad. It's moving. But I think we could probably do with just having an additional left-hand lane here. Unless that was just a random influx of traffic. No, maybe it's fine. Um, okay, so I would definitely want a road over this side. I guess we could just try putting a road in. Should we try? Let's try putting a road in here. Uh, to start off with, you know. Number one, what does it look like? Uh, number two, would it even work? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say this is, well, hang on, actually, how do all these lanes here work? Because they might be, you know, they're all being forced into their own lanes. So we're going to make sure they can get where they need to. Uh, so I guess at this point, um, uh, yeah, this, this poses a problem. Well, here what we can, okay, so this one can, um, I'm just going to, I'm doing the manual lane connections here just because otherwise this, uh, with using the, okay, they're, <laughs> they're being forced down there. Otherwise, this wouldn't really work. So what I might do is then also say, instead of that being like that road, we'll do an asymmetrical road. We'll use this one in here. Mm -hmm. uh, and it will be elevated, not on the ground. Uh, it'll be elevated like that. I'm going to go back to here. I'm going to say this will go into that lane. These two can, well, this doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Is this lane, well, I guess back here, they, they need to be able to go to both lanes. So I guess it could get messy. I guess, well, okay, we should probably go back to the road I was using. <laughs> Actually, no, 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 we'll keep that road. That'll be fine. Uh, and then this will go, not to there. This one will go on. That one can go there. Or to those two, because they might need to go either way here. Um, I guess I probably didn't need to manage that bit. Anyway, so that will allow these guys to get into whatever lane they want. Uh, right now, we're probably going to have everyone using this lane because no one's going to want to go this way. Anyway, so that'll come down here. Now, the idea is that we're going to use this as the main road uh, instead of the other side that will develop into more of a housing sort of area. So this is going to come along. And I think we might get rid of this connection here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, let's get rid of this. Then I'm going to re-level most of this road. Well, not... Well, I guess this section of the road, not most of the road. But this bit is going to come down, so it's no longer raising up like that. It will no longer serve as a connection between these two roads. Because uh, you just won't be able to get to it from here. So then this one will continue on. Um, the only weird thing is, I don't really like having these two roads so close together. So I think I might even just get rid of this section of the road. So instead of it now bridging over there, this road will just come to here. Maybe if, we could do a small little uh, like road bridge there, but this will be like our main sort of uh, highway kind of bridge, I guess. That seems super unnecessary, so let's not do that. I thought it might look cool, but <laughs> it just seems really dumb. So let's get rid of that. So this is going to come around and we'll go a little bit wider and it's going to come into... Okay, let's get rid of bending. Come into there and then this will be a roundabout. Everybody's favorite... Two lane, no, it's going to be a highway, so two lane 
highway. Hopefully that'll be okay. And then we'll get rid of that. We'll unpause. Oh, that's not a pause button. Man, every time I swap get that's it looks pretty cool though. Every time I swap games, my freaking muscle memory of pause buttons keeps getting flipped around. <laughs> Too many different games I'm playing. Alright. So those are all our exit lanes. There you go. Easy as that. Right, so now they all have to go this way. Uh, I should probably reconnect this road here too. The ooh, ooh, what is going on with my mouse? I've been having weird mouse issues today. I don't know if it's the because I got a wireless mouse. I don't know if it's just glitching out there. This will also be around about slightly smaller, so it kind of fits here. Maybe not 32. Can we go down to like 35? Yeah. So that'll go there. Just so we have this sort of fitting into this spot now. And again, we'll do the exit lanes so that everyone can get into the lane they need to be in. Whoops. And then we'll also say no merging in the middle. Pick your lane when you get on and you should be good. And I should probably do that on this one over here because I think they'll be able to do that. So we'll get rid of that. So now they all go up this way. So they're kind of forced to go around this way. Now this road here will not be used by anyone, which is great. Not right now anyway. So everyone's going to be using this. Now this is going to be a problem. Um, I'm wondering if maybe we could even redirect the main flow of this road just going down this way and redo this bridge. Like if we, what if we did something like this? Right, so we get rid of that. We go into our heavy road here. The four lane road. And we're going to stay on the ground here. So we're going to go to here. I'm going to use this curve here. Come around like that. Space already occupied. Not anymore, it's not. Not with anarchy, it's not. And it's going to mostly go that way. But we will add a junction here. So this will now, instead of doing that, let's also maybe reduce the lanes. I don't think we need this many lanes. So what I might do is I'll say this will be two lanes that way and then it will flip around the other way here maybe like that and then come down to like here somewhere. Yeah, that's good. We'll flip that section. Okay, so then that goes like this uh, and I'll just manually do this to make sure it's going to where I want it to. So go straight ahead. So it comes to here. Uh, this should all be good. Now, these guys cannot turn right at all, which is kind of... Oh, no, they can. It's right here. Sorry. Never mind. It didn't look like it could. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so they go there. Uh, that comes down here. Left and right. Left and right. Uh, we'll do the same sort of thing here. So what we're going to do... Get rid of the forward there. Get rid of the forward there. So we have the turning lanes. No merging there. That's way too close. Uh, and then at this point... We'll kind of just let them choose any lane here because they kind of need to get to where they're going. So we'll just do that. All right, then we'll say uh, the main flow of traffic, I think, right now will be here. So that road there should give way, I guess. Whoops, like tab. What what game is tab unpaused? Oh, I think it's transport fever. <laughs> I'm like, I couldn't work it out. All right, let's try that. So if you want to go that way now, which some people do. Why are you giving way? You should not be giving way. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't... that doesn't add up. <laughs> anyway, let's let's see what happens here. So you go... well, I, I don't know, the giving way thing seems to not be working. Can we fit a roundabout? The problem is we're so close to the bridge, it's kind of hard to get a roundabout in. Because that's what I would do. Yeah, okay, the giving way thing is not working for us. Uh... <laughs> that's... Not, maybe we'll just get rid of it. Let's just do none of that. Let's just see what happens if they just flow out and just do their own thing. If they just work it out all by themselves. I mean, it seems to be okay. I mean, it's obviously unrealistic as hell because they're all just like, boop, boop, boop. I'm just going to pick my lane. Woo! As long as everyone can get to where they're going. Is anyone going to use this lane? I want to make sure that lane still works. Oh, I see what they're doing. They're not using it. Yeah, okay. This is why we want to manually do this kind of thing. So yeah, do that. But then these lanes can go anywhere. So that should be fine still. All right. So now they should use both of these lanes instead of just the one, which is good. Uh, people can still come... Okay, that one despawned. Uh, they're despawning as they come down here. That one's fine. Okay, I think I, it was just probably old traffic that hadn't recalculated yet. So as that starts figuring out what it needs to do, it should be okay. Just have a double check. We do have vehicles routed down here, so that's good. Okay, so that should actually be working now. Uh, and that actually looks pretty good. Uh, I, I mean, ideally I would like it to be... Should we do it right? It's just, oh, it's pretty steep. Like, that's the thing to me. It's like, it's just really, really steep now. And it seems a little bit, 
little bit iffy. Also, what is the deal with the ambulances through here? There's so many. It's just like boo, 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 boo. constantly. Jesus. Good lord. Let's make it up a little bit higher here. <laughs> Why are there so many of them? Why is everybody dying in my city right now? All right, so let's do this. I also don't know why this is all off the ground. I'm, I'm not quite actually sure why that is. I'm going to use a smaller two lane road like this one. If it will look any better or if it will look worse. I mean, I think it yeah, it makes the roads less bumpy. All right, let's try that. And then or we could even use three lanes. Hmm. I don't really know the benefit of using three lanes here, though, because I feel like the traffic's not really going to know what it's doing. Okay, well, I've set up the three lane ones. <laughs> we'll see what that does. So now we have... They should actually use these two lanes here. They should not be merging there either. They should actually use both of these because now they should... Um, okay, well, hang on. I might need to reset this bit up. Oh, yeah, I have to reset this again. Hang on. You there. You here. Because now they should actually... These two exit lanes actually directly correspond with these two. So they should use those. The inner lane goes around to those three, etc. Those can go to any, any... You know, the entrance lanes can go to any of the three is the idea. Um, and then these guys are just constantly... I guess they're giving way constantly, which is... Kind of how roundabouts work. Anyway, so that should be doing something. You know what I might do? I might manually set up uh, these two lanes here. So one goes to here... The other one will go all the way around or to the other exit because then that means that they will go exactly to the lane like if they want to go to straight ahead they'll go in this lane here instead of you know cramping up in one lane mm. and i might get rid of that one there just so they followed this i guess i assume i don't know anyway that's that I, I mean that totally works uh it doesn't look too steep anymore i don't think which is good uh it's still pretty close to all of this but it seems to be okay and i think if we go here we should probably put these on because that, that should have been on. Uh, but it's obviously with all this, it's changed. And then I've turned off the junction entering at the beginning of all that. So the rest of it should still be fine. So this should flow smoother because I think that was kind of holding them up a bit there. But that should be all good. They should now be flowing around. I don't know why these guys sometimes stop. Sometimes roundabouts are weird in this game. They kind of just stop for no particular reason. Like they have priority, but you can see that they're kind of stopping there sometimes. I wonder if I select this road... And if I said, and if I was like, adjust roads, right? Or this road, priority road. If that would make them stop stopping here as well. I don't know. Maybe. So many ambulances. Where are they coming from? They're all coming from, well, they're probably not all coming from here. But why are they, why is everybody dying? Do we just have like severe death issues at the moment? We're having a death wave. Is that what's happening? No, but that would be uh, the hearses. Although there is people dying here. No, but they're already dead. Again, that would be hearses. Hmm. We're getting a bit of an influx of traffic. They all seem to want to use the one lane, which is not ideal for me. What if we do a three in one lane? How about that? Yeah, baby. So now if we go here and we say, you go to that lane, you go to this lane, you go to that lane. They all specifically have the exact lane they need to go to. Uh, these two are just going to reassign as well. All right, so now they can use all three lanes, except there's only one lane here. So it's kind of like, well, there's a lot of people that want to go this way, it turns out, because they're all getting in this outer lane, which goes around to here. I mean, it's definitely working like a roundabout should, but I feel like it's, it's not high enough capacity. Although this area is empty. Now this is all full. What is with, why do we have so many emergency vehicles? What is happening in my city? Responding to call it the Chester residents. Uh, they're just patrolling. They're patrolling. Uh, what, what is going on? Why, why do we have so many? Police headquarters. Is this building just sent out all their vehicles at once or something? <laughs> they're all like lined up on this road. Like they're all police cars. What is happening? <laughs> uh, and they all seem to want to use one exact lane. I guess probably because it's going to where they want. We could probably optimize this. Let's say this lane here. Because I think everyone is going to be going over here. Because there's no... Unless they're in the left lane, they're going to be going left. I mean, we can make them do that, but I don't know that that's going to help us use both lanes. It might do, but I'm not convinced that it will. They, they really, no, they, they really shouldn't be using that same lane to merge into, should they? Get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They, um, hmm. Well, we'll let them do their thing. They'll, oh, oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I was like, that'd be fine as it backs up all the way down. Hmm. Maybe, you know what? I'm going to blame it on the priority road thing. I feel like that was the reason. Yeah, see, look, they flow immediately when I do that. The priority road does actually make it function a bit more like an actual roundabout, but it also seems to make the traffic much worse. So let's just, let's just let that go. All right, cool. So I want to go over here and I want to fill in pretty much all of this now with more residential than we had before. Because it's time, it's time to beefcake up, boys. Mm-mm. Let's beefcake this place. Oh, yeah. Just like this. This is how we do it. And then we'll add more roads in when we have gaps. Now, actually, over here, I believe, it was polluted, so we don't want to go too close there. And I think it's loud as well. So this can be some offices through here, I think, is what we're going to do. So not those, just like, nope. Where, what, what's happening? Why am I not in zoning anymore? How did I get over there? So these are going to be offices. Pretty much down to here. And I guess here as well on that road, like so. That'll all fill in, and then we can get rid of those power lines that are right. We can really get rid of those power lines now, actually. I don't think we need these. Get rid of these. We probably don't need them coming all the way down anymore, either. Well, I guess we kind of still do. Anyway, so that will that'll sort of do its thing. Um, the traffic is 83%. Yeah, this road is not... Uh... Even though we happen to have a three-lane roundabout with a two-lane road leading into it, it's not enough lanes to get where they're going. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, this should now fix it. Because I've, I've now said this outer lane here can go to these two lanes. This one only goes to this lane. This outer lane either goes U-turn or goes to this lane. And the other one goes to this lane. So that should micromanage them to use both lanes here. Uh, and actually get the traffic to sort of pile up a little bit better. Instead of using the one lane. I might also uh, extend our road to multiple lanes further down here because we seem to have an issue with not having enough lanes. So we'll do this. Um, I would use the same road here, but I do want those two lanes on the exit so we can get all the traffic in those as well. It's quite nice. Uh, that's great. Thanks, academic school year. Thanks, leave me alone. Bye. Uh, no merging, no merging. You pick your lane back there, you pile up in it, and then you're good, okay? And same down here. Although now no one seems to want to use the other lane. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> I was like, okay, here we go. Here's the next thing. All right, so this is also going to be 100. This is also going to be 100. The roundabout's only 60, which I guess is fine. Uh, and then that's 50. That's 70? No, that's the, that's the thing on the end. That's 40. The Man, this would be so confusing. There's so many different speed limits everywhere. Let's just say 50 up to here, okay? Yeah, all the way down that road. That's fine. Okay, so 50 all here. The roundabout's 60, but whatever. Um, and then that should be good. Okay, that's... Traffic's gone. <laughs> that's all it was. And problem solved. Great. Um, I imagine... Well... Do you have to merge like that? I feel like you could... I know you have to merge at some point. But I feel like you, there's better options here, guys. Maybe if we say... Switch lanes there. And there. And there there. I don't know if that helps. Maybe. Looks like it kind of helped. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so <laughs> that's that's my uh, my ethos is traffic. Okay, so back over here, we probably have a bunch of empty plots that aren't actually filled in yet, which is to be expected. Uh, we got a little bit of green space down here, which should be like a park. So maybe we'll get some stuff down here. Maybe some like plazas or something. Oh, how about a paradox plaza? Hell yeah, paradox plaza. And then we can get a other plaza that is a normal plaza. Maybe this one. It's, it's a bit better. It's a bit weird, but we'll get some... Oh, I was going to say we'll put some trees around it, but we can't because it'll be polluted. <laughs> Great. Uh, okay, and then we'll get uh, this plaza over here. This one might be able to have trees around it without looking dumb. All right, so let's get some trees and foliage and make it look good. Maybe. I don't know. It might not look good, but we'll see. So we're gonna get some, because that's something we need, you guys keep wanting me to focus on, is like more sort of parks and green spaces and and all that kind of stuff, which we're not really doing. Yeah, it's all polluted over there. It's really annoying. We're not, not doing a huge amount of. Like this area is just empty. Uh, <laughs> so it'd be nice to get some stuff in here. I thought I clicked on this tree, but whatever. Yeah, it's all polluted there. So the trees just look sickly gross, which is really sad, but whatever. That's fine. Um, so that's good, I guess. Um, this area is nice though, you know, lots of little houses down here, got all the trains coming in and out. I think this area is good now. I, I really like this area. 
It's set out well. We need some stuff through here. I don't, why do we not have anything here? Oh, it is zoned, but nothing's building there, which is interesting. Maybe they can't build there, I guess. It's okay. Have no fear, for Flabaliki is here. He can build. Is there a deeper building? Deeper, more meaningful building. Oh, that's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that fills up most of the space. That's quite good, actually. Let me get rid of that one. And then... You know, let's have a look at the zoning here. Okay, yeah, there's nothing zoned there. So we'll put our own building there. Can we do a... Oh, modern build? No, that's too big. <laughs> so like a modern building that isn't, like, giant? I wouldn't mind, like, one newer building that they've, like, put in here. Is like, a... Any medium-rise building? No? Me medium? medium right, medium right. Me... Guys? <laughs> Me Medium-rise buildings? Maybe in here. No? Me Medium-rise buildings? If I just search office, and we'll see what we got. Some of these, we got this one, first Canadian. It's quite nice, but we want something smaller. It's a little bit better in here. Let's see this. That's pretty good. Oh, it even extends all the way down. That's kind of cool. So you can like sort of have it overlap the station and look pretty cool. Uh, it's a little much. Maybe we could have this one more over this way. Like, what if we just had that building? That just, just, just the one, you know? I, I don't think that looks super out of place. I mean, it kind of does, because literally every other building is the same height. But maybe that's what this area needs. Not that one, that's too big. Uh, if we could, mi we could mix in some more generic sort of stuff, I wouldn't mind. Maybe like this one here, for example. A newer building there. And all the locals are like, oh, you're ruining our neighborhood. What have you done? And you're all just like, oh, whatever, who cares? Let's just build it anyway. Let's just build it to spite them. <laughs> Got them. Uh, let's go one. Oh, no, not level, sorry. Size one. Oh, one by four. Oh, there actually are some of those. Hmm. Oh, that's sweet. Oh yeah, that fits that area so well. I didn't expect that I would have any 1x4 buildings. Even though there's a modern one. Oh yeah. Oh my god, can I like... What if I put it here? What if I did this and then moved it? Put it in this little corner so like someone's like, I'm gonna buy this land and we're gonna build this disgusting building here. I kind of like it. <laughs> Because I feel like this area's had like a revitalization and they're just trying to cram buildings in where they can get them. Alright, now let's also just do normal buildings, please. 4x4, four four, please, and like, uh, well, not normal, but like, European-style ones that fit in. We got like this one here. Well, I need a building that sort of fills that gap a little bit better. Um, sort of around this building. Is that one that sort of hooks around? I don't think we have any hook buildings, do we? Um, what about a 3x4, maybe? Mm, that one kind of does. Some of these kind of like go back a little bit. Okay, well, we need also European buildings here because I'm, I'm not here to overdo it. <laughs> Completely go out of theme. Hmm, what, if, what if we did this? That's not a European. Well, I mean, no, no, it's not really. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Maybe office or commercial. There's no three by four commercial, interestingly. Uh, can I just go all? Whatever, who cares? Just, there's no office scrollables. Oh, oh, I've, uh, right, I've typed in office. That took me so long to work out. I was like, what is going on? No wonder we had, like, no buildings showing up. All right, uh, <laughs> whoops. Now, we need one that sort of is, like, this shape, but the opposite. Like, so the, the wider bit is at the back, because we wanted to go behind this building. I mean, or we could just do something like this, where we sort of line it up behind, and this building's like being built in front or something. I don't know. So sort of like do this. It's like sort of part of it. I don't know. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I've got this building in here with a tree in the middle of it, which I didn't mean to do that. Uh, it's because I turned on no collision for a second there. Uh, and then we are gonna get another little, like little old buildings, little old buildings. Yeah, little buildings in there. That are going to be one, I mean, they can be one by one, or they could be two by one, maybe. Do we have any of those, potentially, that would, no, we don't, okay. We go one by ones. It's so like these guys, basically. Uh, let's get level threes. Okay, they don't even really place there, so we're going to have to, ugh, it's kind of annoying. All right, so we're going to place them here, 
move it over and then we're gonna rotate okay okay i was trying to right click just to rotate it rotate snap but it didn't want to rotate and it's gonna sit on this tiny little road little avenue there and then we're gonna duplicate i'm just gonna do a few of these here i think is the idea and another one just like that so now they sit there they sort of back onto this area got the modern building there then there's like this little alleyway where there's a few different shops down it and i wonder if we could even get one here that sort of faces that way that'd be kind of cool go to the zoning here was this all plopped i don't know it might disappear if it wasn't but then yeah then we get a building in the middle here maybe like a two by three or something so like two by three maybe like a larger building um two by three there's not a surprisingly not a lot of uh, european two by three buildings in here at least not in um uh, offices we got some of these guys though all right so i need it to be on this road so let's try this let's say if we get this guy and move it here i mean i feel like that still has road access i don't actually know maybe what we could do is move that back get a smaller road like this. We're going to have to do no collision again, otherwise it gets real messy. And then we're going to go like this. It, look, it's it's tough, okay. But I kind of just want the road running through here. Okay, turn off snapping for a second. Uh, so this is going to come back to here. Go that way a little bit. And this road comes in here. So it sort of rolls around the back streets like this. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. That goes into there. Then we got another little building here. I reckon we just get another one of these guys. We get another one of these, get them in, rotate it around, get it in this little gap. And we could probably go away. I can't see. And we could get, oh, well, we got parked cars there. Not anymore. Who cares? Another one there. There's a bunch of these buildings sort of hidden in that block. Yeah, there we go. And then we got this weird modern building at the front just to, I don't know, just because it's part of the. Part of the rejuvenation of... Rejuvenation? <laughs> yeah, the rejuvenation uh, of the area. Uh, it's going to be it's gonna be great. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like we should change this main road here. Like some of these buildings. They're all just like these really, really industrial buildings. Like maybe we could change at least this front street here. Like this little stretch to commercial. Might just look a little bit nicer. We do have a uh, recycling plant right here, so I don't know about that. But let's get rid of these guys. I feel like the game's not going to get rid of them themselves. Do I still have no collision on? Let me turn that back on. Um, and then we're going to get rid of these. Sorry, guys. And then we're going to figure out what to do with this recycling plant, because it is kind of just right there. Um, we could just move it down over there, actually. Let's just do that. Let's get down over here. There you go. Down over that way. Boom. Looking good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And then we'll get commercial right here. So then that at least has this sort of buffer for the pedestrian, uh, well, the uh, the passenger station here. You come up in the road and it is all just like a sort of, you know, nice commercial area. And I kind of, I want to change this road. Well, we'll see if we can make it even a little bit nicer. Uh, leafy tree, maybe get some of these on oh no yep that's right i forgot that this was a disgusting polluted area and i forgot that counts on uh can we do none on this if i go like no yeah none let's just do a gra let's do like a grass median strip oh no that one building that i wanted that i worked so hard to build everything around for <laughs> right, i'll get it back well, I guess we don't need a grass median all the way down there. Let's change it to concrete. Maybe we can keep it. Um, that one ugly built. Well, that yeah, that one building that was kind of there because it was kind of ugly and it didn't really suit the area. I wanted that. I want that back. <laughs> I want that back. Give me that. Here we go. Was it an office? Yeah. Here we go. Um, hey, give me that. Here we go. And then it actually fits really perfectly in that little spot too. I kind of liked it, but let's get this one in here, which I think we... Didn't we have that in one of these? Or is that somewhere else? Oh, no, it's over there. Because these are also good for these sort of deeper sections there that we have. Oh, two by fours. What about, can we get one here? Like, what's going on? Why don't we have a building here? And it seems to be like it's just a big gap for some reason. Yeah, all the, all the gaps kind of ruin it. Also, all the same buildings kind of ruin the look too. Because, like, we've got a lot of these same sort of, uh, two-by-two two buildings everywhere. But I guess it's alright for now. Alright. 
Cool. All right, this is looking good. I, I kind of inadvertently spent time on the same area again. I didn't really mean to. Anyway, this should have built up a bit more over this side now. A little bit. We still have a bunch of uh, spare stuff going on here. Um, how's our traffic up here on this road? It's pretty good. I mean, this roundabout would be kind of annoying in real life, but I think it works in the in the sense of the game. Uh, it seems to be flowing. Most people using this section of the roundabout to get onto the highway, which makes sense. This highway, this highway, this roundabout over here is surprisingly busy too. Um, which is cool. Uh, I, I think what we need to do... Develop this area. I kind of, it kind of weird. It's a random spot. And I guess probably out here a bit more. And oh, yeah. Well, actually, I wanted, let's do this now. This section here. Because I wanted to build up this into like a more, you know... A place for, instead of being the highway, a place where we're just going to have more stuff here. Uh, so we got all this industrial here. I'm thinking, well, I guess we could probably get more industrial through here, maybe. Maybe we have some industrial that comes down along this river and that's sort of bordered, like, this is it. This section here. And then, I guess we'll grab this way as well here. Like, so, well, that was supposed to, like, turn a little bit as I was doing that, but it's snapping too much, so let me just... There we go. So we'll go there like that, and then turn snapping back on, because I do need that. We'll go through here, and then maybe a road through here as well, like that or something. And then maybe we just zone this in as industrial, because it'll probably be fine. Then that was going to be commercial or something over there. Is this all in the district? It is. Great. So this is going to be more industrial... Which will be interesting to have even more in the area, but we'll see how we go. Like, if it ends up being too much or whatever. Like, in terms... Also, we should yeah, we should do something with this building. We can't just plonk this down because we needed it at one point. Um, we should sort out what we're doing with that, too. I'm not sure. Anyway, so that's all going to go there. Then this section, I guess, can go into more commercial around this sort of area here. Uh, this road... I feel like this road could probably just go all the way through to here. What I might do is say this road is going to go to this intersection, but it'll only be able to go... L mm, hang on. Well, this road is not that busy, so it's probably fine. I'll just say this road gives way. So the priority, it was this road. I guess it will be again. So this, this road here will be priority, but these two, they can sort of connect, but they just have to give way. So that'll be okay, I think. And we got a lot of commercial demand, so let's just zone up around here. I don't want to zone that roundabout. I think that'd be too much. We'll zone here, though. Why not? Maybe even some in this little industrial area as well. And then... No, not that bit. And then uh, we could do... So down here, I'm not sure exactly how I want this area to go. Probably... Let's do low density. Uh, so all of this. We'll get Robin District to continue here, too. I think this should be, like, low density. And then maybe we can even do some housing... Yeah, I don't know where because it's a little close to the industrial, but we'll see. So that can go out here. So join up through here. I mean, this road will, like, like I said, we'll, we might even bring it down here and do a bridge and then have it connect further down this way. But it'll just be a slower way to go. So it really only makes sense for local residents and that to use it. Uh, and then let's get the pipe here because we need to extend that as well through to this area. And build that up. So this should be pretty good. It, it seems interesting that... Um, this seems to come and go, and it seems to be... Yeah, every so often it just decides to have a bunch of traffic come down here. I also would like them to use this way too, because this is basically just another way to go. I'm wondering maybe we just redirect, instead of having this at a 90 degree, which I guess would be good for these guys, maybe have it go this way so it's sort of more direct over to here, like to the other side of it. Or we even just do another road coming off the roundabout, maybe. But then, the only thing I'm worried about is then we just have so many roads everywhere, it's like, it's almost kind of ridiculous. Like, if we were to have another connection here, right? That then went sort of more direct. Over this way. Maybe just join down here or something. And then this one, if this one just stayed here, for example. Just came in here. And this is just looking great now, isn't it? Let's rebuild this. <laughs> this roundabout is just looking fantastic. Let's go to here and then, and then I guess there or something. I don't know. All right, so roundabout here, make it a little bit bigger, and this will be two lane roundabout. Maybe it's going to be a little bit smaller than that, thirty eight maybe. 
like so. Uh, that's pretty good. We might just set this to the same height as this, always it'll look a bit weird. So level that up a bit. Okay, so that will go there. So now we have more going on at this roundabout, which I'm wondering about uh, if this will be a good idea. Like, ideally, all we're trying to do is get them to use alternate routes. So not to all use the same exact way. Um, because they can go the other way. It's just they're not they're choosing not to. Like, there's a couple ways we could do it, is you know, either by making it more direct, lowering the speed limit on this road would probably also encourage them to go around. The thing is, it's just much further to go around to this side. Um so I think we'd have to do a combination of lowering the speed limit massively here and keeping this one way higher. So I don't know, we'll see how we go. We'll see if this even helps us out or not. Because I don't know that it will, but we'll see, I guess. Uh, I'll just do all that on those, make sure it's all give way, that's all good. Then up here, I guess this will just be a give way. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. So that'll go there. Then I'm thinking maybe we do lower it down to 40 on this road. I know that seems really annoying. These guys are going to hate it. But then this road's still 100, right? So they can still fly up at 100 around here. Maybe I'll even leave this section as 100. Roundabout's 100. This is now 70, but if we up it maybe to 100, they'll love it. And then that can be 70 again. So then, I'm wondering if we now see more of them prefer to go this way. Oh yeah, that's it. They're coming up and around now. Now this intersection here could be really bad. Um, but now that's interesting. There are still a few people going this way. But it looks like we might have more of an even split. Which is really what we're trying to do. We're trying to sort of divide the traffic evenly. Uh, which is cool. Oh god. They're like, why did they make this road 40? What the hell? Oh, maybe it's because they want us to go this way. Yeah, fair enough. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, we'll leave this part here. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any other ideas as well, just to sort of redo this. I think... Like, really, we just want them to use the other side. Like, um, we might even... Like, maybe we get rid of this connection. Maybe we actually shift... What we should do, maybe, shift this roundabout more central here. So we basically combine these two roundabouts into one, because it seems kind of silly how much we got going on here. Then that means we'd have... Instead of three roads here, we'd have two roads this way, like two coming in there, two going out that way. So that would just make more sense. I think maybe we just do that, combine these, this section. Because that would just make way more sense in general. Um, yeah, anyway, that's going to do us for this part. We'll be back next time with more City Skylight. How's this going down here? Is this good? Yeah. Hell yeah. This train is probably super busy now. I can never click on it when it's underground. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Have an awesome day.